Hello and welcome to Inside Out. Now for most people, gaming is an enjoyable pastime, but for one man from Gillingham in Kent, it became a dangerous obsession, which could have cost him his life. I didn't have any achievements in my life. No qualifications, no skills, unemployed. So David Breaker lived in a virtual world, playing video games for up to 14 hours a day. That's where I got my achievements, that's where I meant something. He developed serious mental health problems and his weight hit 32 stone. Video games are a huge part of modern family life. The sector now accounts for more than half the UK's entire entertainment market. The way that the brain is stimulated by these games is a bit like, I mean, if a parent's coming in to intervene, it's like trying to intervene on someone who's taking crack. The World Health Organization even announced plans to lift gaming disorder as a mental health condition. But many people, like gamers at this convention, do play responsibly, something the industry trade body is keen to highlight. Highlight. There are so many positive benefits to playing games. Uh, they support people with mental health issues, they encourage empathy, um, they are part of a creative medium just like film and television are, so they explore topics, stories, characters and worlds in deeply compelling ways. But parents worry about how long their children spend in front of a screen. To explore a possible solution, we're off to the Kent countryside. Knowlton Court near Dover is the venue for our unique experiment. For the digital generation, spending time without a computer or gadget is almost unthinkable. So how would these volunteer students fare in our very own digital detox, The Adventure? Let's meet some of those involved, 11-year-old Ted Whisker from Brighton. Sometimes I come off, and I've obviously been trying really hard. I'm really hot, like my face is all hot. Um, I get quite like, my shoulders get tense. In charge for the day at Knowlton Court, yoga teacher Ali Noakes. So hello, good morning. Thank you all for joining today's Digital Detox workshop. She's devised a session to help Ted and the students relieve some of that gaming tension. Breath work, some mantras, some meditation, learning how to start to open the body. A lot of the time, especially when we're using a lot of gaming or phones, devices, all of our shoulders become really tight. It affects our eye health, it affects our digit health, it affects the wrist health. First, students will have to surrender their mobile phones. Come and put your phone onto the cloth. Can they cope for a whole day without them? This is brilliant, thank you. Oh, we've got another sneaky one coming out here. We've got any more? Oh, and another one. Doesn't want to miss out, there we go. So this is going to stay in here, guys, for the whole day. Okay, we're going to start to take our arms, big breath in. Take the hands together, keep the foot on the earth if you're not balanced though, it doesn't matter where we're going. The idea behind the session is to clear the mind of all distractions. And as we begin to breathe out through the nose, you're slowly, slowly bending into the knees. You might need to take the legs a little bit wider. Can you take? Beautiful. Well done. Tunbridge Wells parenting expert Mandy Saligari says she'll be fascinated to know the results of our detox yeah. challenge. Teenagers want to connect. I mean, it is our biggest human driver is to connect. And the mistake they make is to think that they can only connect through technology. So to give them an opportunity to connect without the technology, I think is a gift. And I'd be riveted to know how those relationships have changed perhaps um, as a result of the, of the experiment that you did. Next on the menu, gong therapy with Mark Swan. You are putting yourself in an energetic contract with me that says I am open and receptive to whatever is going to come my way. 
So I'm going to honour my side of this contract by stating to you here today that I am here to gong you for the highest good of your higher self, the greater part of you. That is my sole intention and purpose here today. Using the gong sound, Mark's trying to calm the mind and reduce some of those cravings for technology. We're going inside your inner reality and we're having a look round. It was very fun and relaxing because you didn't have to just watch your screen. Do you think you play too much? No. Do you think that you will be more aware of how much you're playing on it sometimes? Yes. And that there are other things you can do? Yes. Oh, okay. Remember David Breaker, whose weight hit 32 stone? Well, he did change his gaming habits, thanks in part to a frank conversation with his doctor. The day when I went to the GP and he weighed me, and that's when he said, Dave, put on a stone a year, if you don't change what you're doing, I give you maybe five, 10 years and you're going to be dead. With the help of gastric bypass surgery and plenty of willpower, this is what he looks like now, 18 stone lighter and working as a life coach. He's at Knowlton Court to pass on his advice to the students. Hello guys. You're good? Yeah. Would you like to see what I used to look like? So, that used to be me. Any ideas how much you thought I weigh? Go on. 22. 22? 32. Are you going for winning, young man? Because I think you're doing very well. 30, I was 32 stone at my biggest. They really just were so interested about what they could do and why and how I got down that route and it was so good to be able to, to, to share with them and it may help, help inspire them. Would you like to see an old pair of trousers? Oh my god. I've got to get another person in there couldn't I? Yeah. yeah? So these used to be mine. When you were having your lunch earlier I was watching you and I was interested that all of you were really chatting away and you were engaging because you didn't have your phones with you. The world is a wonderful world and it has so much to offer you, but you want to grab it, you want to go for it, go for the excitement. Play your games, use your phone, but just be wary of how much it's affecting you and how much it's maybe disengaging you from the people around you. So what's changed for the students after our digital detox adventure? I found it quite like educational and like Realised that, like, I don't need my phone, don't need my Xbox as much as I do. Well, I would definitely do more, like, interacting with people, more days out, more yoga and stuff like that. So it would kind of relax me and get me interested in, the, like, the world. And I heard loads of people say, oh, I'm on it for ten hours. And then I felt happy because I knew that I wasn't the worst and... Sorry to interrupt that actually, but had you worried that you were playing it too much? Yeah. Do you think that's because I say you play on it too much? Yeah. Okay. As the day ends, the kids finally get their phones back. Like, oh, there's 95 yeah. notifications. Never stroking. <laughs> Kiss it. <laughs> and as they leave Knowlton Court, they're all in agreement about one thing. Sometimes it can be good to unplug. Even if it's just for a